Hello, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to record high quality audio on Loom. Here are the steps to record high quality audio on Loom. The first thing to do is to launch the Loom desktop app by double clicking on the Loom icon and that's going to take you to the Loom interface. So here we are. If you are not signed in, go ahead and log into your Loom account using your credentials. In the Loom interface, choose any of the recording options first off choose here whether you want a full screen or specific window or custom size you want camera only or you just want a screenshot choose any of the recording options then either choose if you want a camera or you just want to record the screen no camera and then microphone is very important so click the microphone icon in the recording interface to show your microphone so from the drop down, select the best microphone available. If you are using an external microphone like a USB mic, it's usually better than the built-in microphone on your laptop or computer. So pro tip, you need to invest in a quality external microphone for clearer and higher quality sound. So this is the microphone I am using. All right, so this is it. That's mic in front panel mic in at front panel is my external microphone right now so you can choose either these or these these are your desktop microphones so once you choose any of the options let's say i want to use that and this is my external mic which has pretty much good quality i'd like you to know a couple of things so before starting your recording check the microphone input level loom typically shows audio bars that move when you speak all right, so ensure the input level is strong but not too loud to avoid distortion. And if the bars hit the red zone frequently, lower your microphone sensitivity in your computer sound settings. Okay, so in the low settings, you can also adjust additional audio preferences for optimal quality. How do you get there? So click the more options, which are so of course, this is a audio bar, so it's barring up. <laughs> Now click on the three dots icon at the top right corner and click on settings. And now you have enhance and you have recording controls. You have audio lighting, then go to video and audio. Now once you click on video and audio, you can now adjust the settings. So recording can down, flip camera, open screenshot, use system audio or record audio in mono. Go ahead and choose from any of these options now ensure you're recording the quiet environment to reduce background noise that's pretty much what you need and turn off fans air conditions or other devices that might cause noise interference close windows or doors to block external sound and if available enable background noise suppression in your microphone or computer sound settings some microphones or software offer this feature the next thing is to position your microphone properly. So place your microphone 6 to 12 inches away from your mouth for optimal clarity. Avoid speaking directly into the microphone to reduce popping sound. So plosy is like PLB, the you know, popping sound. Now, if you have a pop filter or windshield, place it in front of your microphone. These reduce the harshness of setting sounds and make your voice clearer. And once you have your microphone set up and checked, go back back and click on start recording to begin your video now after recording you can review the audio quality in the loom video editor okay so you can re-record the audio if there are noticeable issues or use third-party software like audacity or adobe audition to clean up the audio before uploading it to loom if needed so that's pretty much it so in the audio or in the audio editor after of course recording once you're done recording takes you to video editor so in there click on the share button and once you click on the share button click on done first at the top right corner of the screen and choose if you want to share it or not by following the steps and using a quality microphone in a controlled environment you'll be able to record high quality audio on the loom so go watch the tutorial from top to bottom to get acquainted with steps and of course once you are done you will be good to go i hope this tutorial marvelously helped you search.